Hi guys! My name's Stephanie, but you can call me Steph. Welcome to my channel! This is my very first YouTube video, so thank you so much for clicking on it. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. It would mean so much. I'm so excited to get started here on YouTube. My channel is all about anything film related, acting related, entertainment related. I myself am an aspiring filmmaker, director, actor. I just want to work in movies, like that's my ultimate dream. That's everything that we're gonna be going over on this channel. So definitely stay tuned, make sure to subscribe if you're interested. But today we're actually gonna be discussing something a little bit different. Today we are focusing on finding inspiration because as we know, we're definitely still in the midst of an unprecedented time in history. People are still having trouble finding inspiration and finding ways to get motivated and stay creative. So I'm just gonna try to show you ways that I find inspiration in life. So I've kind of compiled my list down to 10. Obviously there's so many more ways that you can be inspired, but for anyone out there who's having trouble staying creative, this video is for you. Ready? Let's do this. If you're looking for inspiration, music is such an easy jumping off point. Most people have access to some type of music. One of my personal favorite things about music is that it can inspire different moods. You can get into like so many different emotions and that all gets tied into acting and film and storytelling and that's really what it comes down to is the inspiration to tell a story. Think of a music video. It's literally like a miniature film based on a song all wrapped into one. I mean, it really is the epitome of what I'm talking about. Do you have a friend who makes music? Talk to them about collaborating. For me, it's about moods, but what I mainly listen to, sorry, there's literally a wasp outside. What inspires me is cinematic, orchestral music, think movie scores. I have an entire playlist, I call it my writing playlist, and I have this whole playlist where it's just movie scores. And every time I write, I just pop on this playlist and it inspires me. It's the best way for, I can't write without my writing playlist. That right there is direct evidence that music inspires me, especially in my writing. Whatever type of artist you are, your art can always be influenced by other art. And you just have to define what that other art is. What is art to you? To a lot of people, it's music. So comment down below, tell me who you listen to, what music inspires you, who's your favorite artist, who's your favorite composer? I'd love to hear. Memory all alone in the moonlight. Okay. This next part is all about memories. Memories are definitely something that can inspire you. All you have to do is contact a parent or a grandparent Ask them about a story from their childhood. Ask them about something significant that they remember that was a really, really fun memory or maybe a really scary memory, something like an adventure that they went on or something that they had to get out of, a situation they had to escape from. I know not everyone's going to have those types of stories, but I mean, think about how many movies have been inspired for memories. So next time you're stuck and you're looking for inspiration, definitely think about contacting someone in your family or maybe an elderly neighbor. So, you know, ask them if they mind you picking their brain. Make sure that they're okay with you using their memories in your story and be true to what they want said. That's still a great source of inspiration. So tread lightly, but definitely dive in. One of the biggest things about nature being inspiration is less about inspiring ideas and more about clearing the junk in your mind. It's more about like getting rid of all of that extra stuff that's like weighing you down and the junk from like normal life that's not letting you express the creative side of you. Nature is such a good healer and like such a, a pure and easy, free way to just kind of connect to yourself and to like regain the power of your own imagination. Think about the pandemic. Think about people who can't leave their house. Like you have to go outside. You have to find a way to connect to the outside world, to nature, because that's 
where we come from. Like when you have writer's block, what do you do? Like you, oh, I'm gonna go take a walk. I'm gonna go clear my head. You have to get that extra stuff out in order to let those new ideas in. And that's where like nature comes in for me is that like, it's not about, oh, I'm gonna go sit in the grass and like, oh, I've just come up with like three new ideas. That's not how it works. It's more like, I'm gonna go for a hike and I'm gonna let go of things. I'm gonna go take my dog for a walk. In order to be inspired, you have to be open to inspiration. You can't be open to inspiration if you're just bogged down by the weight of the world. You have to clear the energy, neutralize the air, and just, you know, prepare your mind to create. Another really, really easy source of inspiration is photographs and or art. Think about the saying, a photo is worth a thousand words, right? Meaning a photo tells a story, that's the whole point to that saying. So the next time you're stuck, grab an old family photo album, open it up, pick a random photograph, pull it out, whatever that photograph is, that is your next movie. If you're not making a movie, that's your next book. It's your next short story. It's the next subject of your painting. Whatever art you're producing, take that photograph and create a story from it. In addition to photos, art itself is inspirational. Art inspires art. So go look at art. That's the easiest way to be inspired. The next source of inspiration is humans. Honestly, you can learn a lot about humans from people watching. If you're stuck on character development, go to a park, sit on a bench and observe. Literally just look around and watch how humans behave. I'm not talking about like weird, like stalkerish stuff. Like don't follow people home, observe someone from a distance, but just kind of pick up on their traits. Another way humans can inspire you is career wise. Think of humans that you admire. Those humans are literally inspiring you to push forward with your career and make something happen with your life. Humans are art, and like I said, art inspires art. Dreams are a wonderful source of inspiration. They can be interpreted in so many ways. You can take dreams in their literal form, or you can take what you think they mean and make a story out of that. It's like your imagination is at play while you're sleeping. Keep in mind, with dreams, a lot of times, they disappear from your memory almost immediately. So I would advise, if you're gonna try this route, have some type of notebook or dream journal next to your bed. That way you can wake up, immediately write down what you just dreamed about. And then later on in the night, when you're trying to think of a good idea, you can flip open that dream journal and you can flip through and look for ideas and inspiration and fun ways that you can incorporate your inner psyche into your artwork. So here's an obvious one, books. Now you have to be really careful here because authors are obviously the original creators of that content. So there's copyrights involved. You can't just adapt a work and then make money off of that work. You don't own that work. So definitely look into that side of things, but books, short stories, poems, these are all great sources of inspiration. Random objects. It's such a wacky like concept to think about. Look around your house and literally pick up any object and imagine it being used for maybe the opposite of its everyday use. Imagine it coming to life. Pick up an object and imagine it being a murder weapon. Just keep in mind that there are infinite possibilities when you just use your imagination. Think of it like when you were a kid and you didn't have anything in front of you. Your brain is what you used to play. So you're an adult now, but that doesn't mean you have to stop playing. This one's pretty obvious. The internet. Something that I could not have said when I was a kid. But today's internet is an insane wealth of information. Keep in mind, you can't always believe what you read on the internet. Not everything on there is true, but it's a wealth of information that can inform your creativity. Just be careful though. One quick disclaimer with the internet, don't get too sucked in. You could end up going down a rabbit hole and get lost for hours. That's gonna take away from your productivity. That's gonna take away from you actually finding the valuable information you need. So just keep that in mind. Regulate your time on the internet, but it is a wealth of knowledge. And 
the most important, in my opinion, form of inspiration, film and television. If you're making a film, watch films. It's as simple as that. Film is literally art in all forms. It's so important if you're interested in being an artist that you watch who came before you, watch the greats, watch classic films, watch black and white films. All film is inspired by other film. Half the movies you watch today, not just are remakes of old movies, but they use elements from these older movies. You have to understand where these standards were born in order to create your own. If you wanna be the next great thing, you need to know what great things came before you. So you have to make sure that you do an intense study into film or whatever the medium it is that you are trying to excel in. But specifically, when it comes to the inspiration that I'm talking about right now, film and television, in my opinion, is the base of storytelling. Well, there you have it. That was all 10 that I could think of right now at least. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching my very first YouTube video, especially those of you who made it this far. I know you don't really know me yet, so I'm not necessarily an authority in the world of film, especially on YouTube, but I would love if you wanted to get to know me a little better and stick around because every week I will be coming out with two videos about film, acting, and the entertainment world. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. New videos go up every Monday and Thursday, so stay tuned and I will see you on Thursday for the next one. Bye guys.